I'm Matt Dopp, this is Intern TV. There we are, welcome there back. There we are. There we are. We are oh, back man. with another exciting episode of Intern TV, where we're going to tell you some stories and experiences about internships from our very own New University students. As always, we're joined by our co-hosts, Jeff Wilson. Hi, how are you? Andrew Golden. Hello. We're looking good. It's looking spiffy, bright colors today. <laughs> I didn't get the memo. So how are we doing? Pink and blue. Dude, what is that? Your funeral suit? This is, this is my funeral suit. <laughs> I, um, I really hope I don't wear it a lot, because that means someone died. Obviously. Is everything okay? You all right? Oh, yeah, yeah, we're oh, fine. Let's get right, rolling, good, good. Yeah, we're ready. Get rolling, then. So how are we doing? Oh, we're doing. Great. Doing anything good? How's LaSalle going? It's going good. Going good? How's baseball going? Oh, it's going. It's going <laughs> it's good? spring training, dude. It is. It's here. It is spring yeah. training. It's here. It is here. It's here. It is here. It is here. <laughs> all right. You know who else is here? <laughs> who? Our guest. Hello. Woo-hoo. Our guest today is a junior. She's interning at a newspaper, The Dialogue. Let's bring her up, Lexi Lomax. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Hey, hey, thanks thanks for coming. Yeah, have a seat. It's good to have you. Thank you. Glad to be here. Yeah, thank (laughs) you. Appreciate it. So, yeah, sort of like I said, you're interning at The the Dialogue right now. So you want to talk about that a little bit? What are you you up to? Okay, so the... Dialogue, it's like a newspaper, but it's more than just that. It's um, like a news corporation for the whole um, Diocese of Wilmington. And oh. I'm a journalism intern, but I do mm-hmm. more, um, not do more, but I do a lot of office work. So the, today I worked a lot like with spreadsheets and mm. um, filing. And so I have like my hands on a little bit of everything. Yeah, yeah cool stuff and classic intern things, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, Absolutely. Mm-hmm. we've all been here. So what a... So you said you're, you do some journalism. Have you wrote, written any cool stories? Or? Yes. I don't know like, <laughs> what you mean by cool, but um, so far I have about five stories published. Okay. Um, wow. So it's a time. bi-weekly newspaper. Mm-hmm. So this is, actually, this is a pub week, actually, so the paper will come out on Friday. And then okay. the, it also gets um, updated online. Okay. Oh, that's pretty yeah. cool. Do wow. you have any teasers? What's your story this week? <laughs> what did I write this week? Um... <laughs> I think it was more about like a Latin series going on. Okay. So, and then on Friday, I'm meeting with someone who is in an organization called the Columbiettes, and they mm-hmm. want to gain more publicity to their organization and help recruit other women. So I'll be meeting with her on Friday, mm-hmm. and hopefully to write an article to yeah. put in the next edition. Mm-hmm. So um, how did you find this internship at the Dialogue? Um, a professor okay. actually came yeah. to me. And right. said, like, oh, you know, I think this mm-hmm. is, like, a wonderful opportunity for you. He knew my interest in journalism and, you know, mm. needing to do an internship. So. Are you enjoying it? I am, good. yeah. Good, good, good. So uh, something I know that happened for me is I wrote, a, I wrote a little bit for my one internship. And I remember when the article got published and my name was on top of it in a byline. Mm-hmm. That was a cool feeling for me. What was that, what was that like for you? I know it would be pretty special. It was. So for the first, um, the second week that I was there Mm -hmm. was the first pub week um, of the new year. And I knew I had written like two like little stories in the article that came, I mean in the newspaper that came out that week. And I just Mm -hmm. remember like waking up on Friday and I was like, the paper's coming. Like I was so (laughs) excited. So when we got there, um, well when I got there, the paper hadn't got there just yet, but we were like watching the surveillance cameras because it was like running a little late so we just wanted to make sure that nothing had you know right. happened to it or like any mistakes mm-hmm. and yeah so, so it was pretty exciting yeah so do you think doing journalism that's obviously part of your major is that something you want to pursue for a career it is yeah do, do you think how do you think you're gonna be able to take this experience and the things you've done and lead that into going into interviews and applying for jobs I think it'll be helpful you know further down the road um, I can say I've had a intern experience with a newspaper, you know, writing, um, creating stories, covering different stories, and then I'm hoping to use this internship to do another one in the summer, Mm -hmm. either another writing one for a newspaper, or my goal is to shift gears and go into a um, news station, actually. So did did you always know that this was something that you wanted to do? Like, did you have that that itch to write ever since a young age? I did. 
The first time I started writing was in third grade. I remember after the school year was over, I was kind of sad that um, school was over for <laughs> the summer. And I wrote a novel that, on yeah. what happened the entire year. And I think I still have it somewhere. And I've just always loved English. That was like my best class growing up. So, mm -hmm. and yeah, English and just writing is just my strong suit. We yeah. are polar opposites. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, at the dialogue, do you have a um, restriction on what you can write about or are you able to write about anything? So it's for the Diocese of Wilmington, so it's mostly Catholic yes. news, um, you know, mm -hmm. stuff relating to the church, mm -hmm. um, different organizations that have faith backgrounds. But we also cover sports, but they're the sport sport, you know, grade schools, right. high schools, and mm -hmm. such. CYO? Yeah. yeah. I used to play CYO basketball. Dude, same. <laughs> so Never I, uh, made the newsletter, but... <laughs> I don't think I did either. Yeah, it's fine. It's okay. <laughs> I was a role player. Yeah. yeah. Hey, every player has a role. Six man. Sometimes I got the starting spot. Sometimes. All right, uh, back, sorry, to, sorry. Back, back to back to Lexi. <laughs> so I know I know you're also the news director here at Newman. You work in our same field here at Newman Media. What are do you see a lot of um, the same things happening between what you do here and what is happening in the in the news world out there? Is there a lot of crossover? Or is it two two different two different uh, cultures basically? Um, that's a good question. Um, as far as like being here with Newman Media, you know, we do a lot of stuff with, you know, production and camera work. And then at my internship, it's a lot of writing. So it's a little bit of a difference. Um, but they do use like news services. So, you know, some of the bigger news that comes from, you know, not in Delaware, not in Wilmington. They do use a bigger news service and they pull those stories just like we do here sometimes. Pretty solid. So getting an internship, obviously you don't just walk right in the door. Mm -hmm. There's an interview. Many people struggle with interviews. They don't know how to prepare. They don't know how to find the best answer. And a lot of people struggle to talk about themselves. So could you just touch on that the whole interview process, what you do to prepare, what makes you feel confident going into an interview? OK. Um, so this is like actually my first like formal interview. The jobs I've had in the past, I've known the people, so I didn't have to have much of an interview. So this interview, I was nervous. Um, I did ask my roommate if we could like, you know, do a mock interview, help to prepare. But she, unfortunately, was busy that week, so we did not get a chance to do one. But I just went onto their website, and I just, you know, scrolled through every tab that they had, just, mm -hmm. you know, familiarize myself with the organization. And I think what helped the most is I wrote down questions, because I don't really ask a lot of questions. I'm kind of like a quiet person. I just yeah. sit back and observe. Yeah. So when I was talking to the editor, that's who I had the interview with, mm -hmm. when he asked me, did I have any questions, I was prepared because I did right. plan questions. So, <laughs> and I think that's um, it's big. that part stood out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, separates yourself. Mm -hmm. And then something else that I remember you told us is that you applied for this job through Handshake. I did. That's something that um, not a lot of, like us do, we usually do like LinkedIn teamwork online. Mm -hmm. What was Handshake like for you? How was your experience there? And, why do you think other kids should use Handshake? So I just made my hand, Handshake account this semester. I didn't really have anything on there before. And it actually was fairly easy. Mm -hmm. um, you just go on to um, whatever, I don't, I don't know how to explain right. it, but I just yeah. went into the dialogue and mm -hmm. it just had a like button that said apply. So I just like yeah. answered the questions that was mm -hmm. on their application. Mm -hmm. And then I know, I know you do a, a little bit of podcasting Mm -hmm. What you doing? So you want to talk about that a little bit? How's, so, how's that? Yeah, um, so the podcast is fairly new um, to the dialogue. They just started a little bit before I got mm -hmm. there. And it just likes, it's um, highlighting like average people who aren't usually, you know, in the newspaper a lot. And the intern that was there before me, her name is Callie. Mm -hmm. And she actually is a Newman student as well. So mm -hmm. she did a few before I got there. And now I've kind of taken it over. And I've done mm -hmm. one so far, and then I'm working mm -hmm. on doing more after spring break. Have you had to face any challenges throughout the experience of podcasting, or is it pretty much you have it mastered? It's fairly easy. There's a script, so I just mm -hmm. say the script, and I just record yeah. it on my phone. Right. So there's not too much okay. hard work to yeah. it. So what do you think? How? What do you think a student that is interested in getting in, getting into TV, getting into media, sort of like you would do? How, how did you get in here? Like, what was, your, what was your first initial experience when you came here to Newman and got involved with Newman Media? That's a good question because I kind of 
didn't just dive right in. So mm. freshman year, I was shy, I was quiet, I kind of like stuck to myself. So mm. I didn't really come in here much freshman year. I think I came maybe second semester and I came to Sean and I was like, oh, I want to write for the new press or I think it was the new press still then. I know mm. before it was called the Joust. And I wrote maybe like one or two articles um, mm. freshman year and then was still kind of, you know, in the background, kind of quiet. And then I was like, well, I really want to be on TV and I really want to get into journalism. So let me, you know, try doing their new show that they have because that's what I want to do, you know, long term. Mm. And then from there, it's just been like rolling smooth, you know. <laughs> yeah, so I know, like you just said, you want to work in TV news. Mm -hmm. When do you think you realized you wanted to work in that? And how do you have a roadmap in your head of how you're going to get there? So um, growing up, we watched like the news like all the time, you know, yeah. uh, morning, noon, and night. So yeah. I grew up, you know, watching, you know, the different local stations in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. And before I had an, um, an interest in like, journalism, I wanted to be a meteorologist. Okay. And wow. then after, <laughs> after sixth grade, I didn't like science anymore. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I think I was like sixth grade. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's yeah. about it. Sounds right. Um, and then me and my mom like, you know, assess different things and I still had a strong interest in writing. And then mm -hmm. she was like, well, why don't you just, you know, become a news reporter, a news anchor. Mm -hmm. You know, you still can be in a TV station, kind of similar to a meteorologist, but just mm -hmm. a different aspect of it. And the idea just stuck with me ever since. Yeah. So how um how important do you think doing hands-on experiences? Because obviously, being a news reporter, to be doing on-camera things, you can't just show up and do it. So how much how much is this experience do you think is benefiting you? Um, it's a good question too. <laughs> it's just like you, even when you're not doing work, like even when you're not clocked in, so to speak, you're still always thinking about your tasks. Yeah. So. And I think that goes for with my internship and doing things in NIMA Media. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just I might not be like physically working on it, but in like my mind, I'm still like thinking about different things. Who do I need to mm -hmm. talk to? You know, what aspect of the story am I still missing? Yeah. What have you found to be the most essential part of your internship? What have, what have you taken away the most that that's going to help you further down the road in your career? I think just everything all around honestly um, because I do so much so it's not just sitting there and writing stories but I am doing office work and I am you know using a set Excel that I haven't used since like sixth grade yeah. so there was just so many different things that I you know didn't know I could do mm -hmm. and you know I do run things with like their social media platforms yeah. too so I think the whole big package all right so we're gonna, we're gonna switch some gears here quick pretend I'm an employer okay I'm asking you what is your proudest moment of your internship so far, what would you tell me? The articles that I've written. What were they on? Um, so the first three were like preview to events. Mm -hmm. um, one being like the March for Life. That was um, really enjoyable talking to so many different people. It actually made me want to attend, you know, a March for Life rally. Mm -hmm. And you know, I'm just excited for the ones that I haven't written yet too. Yeah, so. <laughs> right. So what do you got on deck? you have anything on deck that you're going to write? Um, besides the one for the Columbiettes, then mm -hmm. I have another one lined up for, for a high school in the Delaware area. It's called Padua Academy. And every year they have a dinner honoring women's achievement. And this year they are honoring their whole class of 1958, I believe, mm -hmm. um, because they are the pioneer class. So when they were in eighth grade, they did not have a high school. And so they went to mm -hmm. the... Um, the priests of their of their grade school, and they said, like, can we have a high school? You know, the boys have this high school that they can go to, but we don't mm -hmm. have something for us. So, so Dop, are you uh, you trying to make her give away all this? Yeah. <laughs> I am. I am. I actually have one more. I'm trying to get her to give away. Oh. So I know for uh, your work here at Newman, you're doing some stories on vaping. I, d I am. Yeah. And you got one on the coronavirus. Yes. So you have anything you want to share <laughs> there? Um. So with the coronavirus, we are trying to talk to Ridley Hospital and okay. to see what they're doing in efforts to, um, you know, prepare for the coronavirus if it comes to this area, you know, being more local and just to reassure, like, the Delaware area that, you know, mm. they are planning ahead. Hopefully not. Yes. Let us pray. Let us, Let pray. us pray. But it's necessary. It is. Mm hmm 100%. Ab All right. Well, I know you're fairly familiar with the show. So this is our segment where we're going to put you in the hot seat. Okay. And call it Quick Six. 
So let's get up, let's switch seats. Okay. I don't know why I clapped. Are ready for some You're just excited. Am I going to see? Oh yeah, have a seat. Here we go, you ready to go? I was born ready. All right, Andrew, you're up. Ready, set, what's your biggest fear? Spiders. What's your opinion on shag carpeting? It's okay, I think I have one. <laughs> Do you know what two colors make purple? Blue and red. Oh, genius. Would you rather ride a scooter or a bicycle? Bicycle. If your pet could say one thing about you, what would it say? Stop kissing me. <laughs> Fair. If you were a left hand, are you left handed? No, I'm not. Okay, if you were left handed, would you wish you were right handed? Yes. Wow. Fair. That's big. You, you know don't what? That think was about good. those things very often, do you? Well, my mom's know. left handed, so I see her struggle sometimes. There you go. Yeah, there especially go. Like when there we eat go. at restaurants. She yeah. always has to have the end, so then. she's not hitting anyone. Or notebooks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you always Spiral get your hand marks, dirty. Yeah. Well, I do that with my right hand, actually. So do really? I. Really? Yeah. So do I. I don't take notes. <laughs> Don't, oh. why would you put that oh, on Come here? on, dude, cut that too. <laughs> Your so teachers are going to be furious. Hey, photographic memory. Sure, allegedly. I do. All right. Yeah, I don't believe Good job. That. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. Back. There we go. So I No, you know, that was uh, very, very insightful. We appreciate you coming. <laughs> so awkward again. <laughs> Thank you for coming. We want to thank, thank our you. audience. Thank you Get for it. coming out. The <laughs> thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew. You're thank welcome. Lexi again. Thank you. Thank and you. That's, that's it. Intern TV, another one in the can. We appreciate you. We love you. See you next week.